Sales for the iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C began today with some interesting surprises. Rumors point to the first ever Cyanogen Mod phone, and do not, I repeat, do not unlock your bootloader on the Sony Xperia Z1. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you don't like celebrating Fridays, let me know in the comments and I'll gladly celebrate it for you. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the official news as Apple has now launched their iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C to the public, either shipments or in the store you can get your phone today. But interesting, I mean, we've got a lot of great things to talk about this phone. We've got unboxings, video comparisons, tutorials, just about everything you can think of today and in the days to come. But, hmm, you know, people were complaining about the fact that for every 10 iPhone 5Ss that were sold, only one iPhone 5C was sold in stores. Apparently, the golden iPhone is already out of stock and the iPhone iPhone 5C doesn't seem to have the same amount of popularity. So did you get an iPhone today? Which iPhone did you get? Why would you or why would you not get an iPhone 5C? It's just interesting to see that the budget model is not getting accepted. Now let's talk about phablets and more interestingly, Microsoft, which didn't have a phablet before. Apparently Terry Meyerson just came on record to state that the company is very interested in building phablet ecosystems, but not based on Windows Phone 8 apparently. Apparently he's interested in doing it on Windows RT. Uh, which we kind of can't understand. I mean, why would you do that with Windows RT when you already have Windows Phone 8? And the only reason why we think that these two things match is because apparently they will be merging both operating systems in the future, so stay tuned for that. Now there is one phablet that will apparently reach the market with Windows Phone 8, and that is the Nokia Lumia 1520, if it does keep that name. As it turns out, apparently a very, very trusted tipster is now confirming that the device will launch on November 8, yeah, November 8, that far. And apparently it'll cost the same amount of money as every phablet, which is $2.99 after a two-year contract, $6.99 unlocked. It'll be available on AT&T in four different colors. Now, even more interesting is the fact that we have to wait so long. Could it be that we have to wait because Windows Phone 8.1 will be ready for it? Or could it be that we need to wait for it to merge with Windows RT? We'll see. Now going through some interesting and kind of negative news, if you're interested in buying the Sony Xperia Z1 for you know unlocking the bootloader and doing just about everything you'd want to do with your own phone, as it turns out, Sony is warning you that this will cripple the camera. Yes, if you unlock the bootloader of the phone, the camera will be crippled. According to the company, apparently there will be versions of the phone that will allow you to do this, but not the current ones in the market. So, uh, you know, just buyers beware. Uh, you probably still on time to return the phone if something goes wrong. And finally, for the hot news of the day, you heard about Cyanogen Mod Inc., you know, that new incorporated company that was just built out of a service, and how much we dreamed about the fact that we've loved to see a phone out of the box with Cyanogen Mod, as the company's working on smarter and easier ports for Android, but as it turns out, it seems that our dreams are coming through as, well, Steve Kondik just came on a YouTube teaser, and he's saying that that Oppo N1 that will be launched on Monday has everything to do with his excitement. So could could it be that this will be the first ever Cyanogen Mod phone? Um, well, that leads me to the question of the day. Would you be interested in paying for a phone to be run with Cyanogen Mod? I mean, you currently can get it for free on just about every flagship in the market. Uh, would you pay for a phone specifically for Cyanogen Mod? Uh, in my particular case, honestly, since I can buy pretty much any phone and just unlock it and root it and load Cyanogen Mod, I don't think I'd like to pay for it. But anyways, if that phone brings something compelling, unique that's completely different to any other phone that's not just Cyanogen Mod, then yeah, sure, why not? Leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week.